Holla Peeps, it's your girl Cherie, reporting live for Cherie TV. Y'all, I was on my way to the gym. I was at the gym. Thank you, my love. I was at the gym. But then I realized Anderson was on. And, uh... I had to come back because he was having an exclusive, which I totally like missed. I heard it on the radio. I love Anderson. I'm watching Piers. That he at least has taken that step. It would mean something if he would take. It would mean nothing if they continue their nuclear weapons program. It would mean a great deal if they stop it. Because Iran, while acknowledging or not acknowledging the Holocaust, is planning another Holocaust for another six million Jews. That's the number of Jews who live in Israel. You gave an interview, uh, unprecedented, to BBC Persia today, where you could speak directly to the Iranian people. Oh. What were you thinking when you did that interview, and was it as successful as you hoped it would be? That was very meaningful for me, very moving, because I, I've never done that before. But of course, it's not speaking directly to the Iranian people, because the Iranian regime uh, jams this thing. So some of it seems through, and I'm, uh, I'm sure that some of them will hear it. But it's like Mohani's tweets. He tweets very fashionable. What is the president of Iran doing tweeting? In what the fuck? Is he really tweeting? Is what I said to uh, the BBC uh, Persian television. And I hope it does get heard in the Hello, yeah. tweeting. Yeah. We in Israel, the no the for United you. That's why our annihilation from having nuclear weapons. It's not only the United States that has such an interest. Because, you know, for Khamenei, we're the small state. I've right. got to be glued to the we're news. Or re be reading papers. It's a big week for America. It's been exhausting. I want to be ready when we go to air. You know what I'm saying? For the peeps. And for me. And for you. I do have to go to the gym. And you will always be uh, slaves to them. If you want to have the future that I believe the great... All up, up doing my video, you know what I'm saying? This is a great civilization. They could be a great nation again. Well, they have to get rid of... I this. love you. Look, I Baby's chili a success. Uh, As always, that, everything that she cooks is good. If these guys, you know, if that's why I had to go to the gym, honey. Your own red line when it comes to Iran, and if so, what is it? Well, simply put, Pierre... Peer, simply put, Peer. If, if you get absolute concrete evidence, you say what right, if you get the evidence to your satisfaction, incontrovertibly, that they have got that capability, is that your red line? And would you hesitate to take military action? I mean, how do you do it wrong? In that eventuality, but I hope it doesn't come to that. I have to take more pictures because now that I've lost weight, you can see my face is leaner. Except you want a real solution. You don't want yeah. to be doomed. President Clinton told me that when he was doing business with Liz Vladimir Putin, he needs to get in the room and kick everybody out and just go man to man. And it'd be brutal, he said. Bang, bang, bang on both sides. And then they'd reach points of agreement. And he said that Putin never let him down. Never Been working out. When it was just the two of them. Shit. Can you ha envisage that kind of meeting? God, with sweating. Well, Thank y'all. Y'all been with me every step of the way. In my sauna suit. I still have my sauna suit now. I was uh, really out of control. I was becoming dangerously fat. We were able to complete the work in this farm. Did you know what he just said? He said, listen, I fooled them. I really was. He probably brags about it. 
Well, you know to say, fool me once, Man. fool me twice. Not like Gilbert Grape's that? mom or nothing like that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Same for me. Contradicted by fact. But it's not the you know, it's, it's a substance. You guys saw it. I never stopped taping. Next, more of my conversation with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, including his fascinating story about the meeting the future President Obama for the first time in an airport. We'll be right Not like Biggest Loser, you know what I'm saying? But for me. See, oh my god. Before we even picked him up, we found out the doctor we needed was SNAs. Yeah. I had big girl problems. Did he propose strength with the stoplights? My ambulance talks with smoke alarms, pilots, the stadiums, but of course... But even more than working out, I think the dry sauna helped me. So everything works. And taking hydroxy cut and using sensa on my food. All those things together. I'm not saying that's the right regimen for everybody, but that was my emergency regimen. That I use. It's an emergency. Fuck it. I, I was. I looked at the scale and I was like, "What? Oh no. Okay." Mm -hmm. Fuck you, scale. And it doesn't bother me or make me feel anxious. You know what I'm saying? Only Dish offers you an iPad too free when you sign up for Dish in the Hopper. Call one eight hundred Watch TV today. Over time, you've come to realize it's less of a race. That's because I chill. Keep going strong. And as you look for a Medicare supplement insurance plan, expect the same kind of commitment you demand of yourself. Looking forward to Monday Night Football. Come on out and kick it. Hang out with me and baby. We're hosting it. There's going to be hot chicks selling jello shots. People are going to be. Let's get fucked up. Come out. Party. It's at Charlie's Bar on Arville Street here in Las Vegas. Starts at 5.30. Ha la. We will be there to party with you. Oh, I wonder who I picked for Monday. Actually, it's a great time. Mortgage rates are low. And in many parts of the country, Whatever, we don't know what he's talking about. Let's Some say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment in commercial one interest of around thirteen. Is that CNN? No. Well, yeah, it was. Let's was it see. A right here at home. Motor vehicle records indicated. Oh god. Every so a monthly principal heard about a big deal politics story that has just been up in Virginia inside the biggest political contest this year, which is the one for Virginia governor. Right now, the Republican candidate, Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli, is trailing in the polls. The latest NBC Marist poll has Ken Cuccinelli behind by five. The latest Washington Post poll has him behind by eight. But there's still a month to go, so okay, Ken Cuccinelli is campaigning like seven. crazy, like a guy who's oh, only good. a month left. Anderson comes on at 7 o'clock. Holla, because I missed him earlier. See, it's that new thing I told you that I did not want to miss. So I did not come home from the gym in vain. So I did not want to miss that. Nobody who is not related to these guys particularly likes either one of them. I didn't want to miss it, y'all. So, the voter turnout is not expected to be high. But that increases the importance of each voter. And that makes any change in who's eligible to vote a big On this big channel big right big now, big on right CNN. Right on CNN? Virginia uh -huh. elections has decided to purge nearly 60,000 voters off the rolls in... And I said, well, you got to put crippling sanctions on them because that might stop them. Hopefully the government shutdown will end soon. I mean, this is like, you know, it's like that thing on in the back of your mind that won't go away. 
You know, like, no matter what, the government is still shut down. And that lady got killed yesterday. Like, I mean, but... So that's the first thing that happened. The second thing that happened was that a week later... What other choice did they have after, like, she used her car like that, you know? They didn't know what was in that car. But it sucks that a baby was in there. That was a mother's choice to put that baby in that situation. Because you know you go near the president's place trying to fucking act like that. You know you can break a shot. Shit. That's really my message. And don't leave them with a partial capability to reach nuclear weapons. That's a shame. bad for the world. People always try All around. To anyway, everybody, it's your girl Cherie signing off for Cherie TV. Vibe with you later. I was fascinated by that first meeting you had. You clearly saw then the great potential in Showtime is at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. From the Israeli perspective. If you're on Facebook and Twitter with me, you'll get the bulletin. Otherwise, just go to shereenbaby.com and go to the blog talk widget on the page on the upper right. Click on that. It'll take you to the live show at 9 o'clock. Love you guys.